Hey guys, we all know Android and iOS dominate the mobile world. But what if you want something different? Something truly open, built on Linux? So yes, I just installed native Ubuntu Touch on my old OnePlus 6T and it's like having a mini Linux computer in my pocket. It's super cool, privacy friendly and perfect for beginners. But is it really that perfect? Let's find out everything. So what's Ubuntu Touch all about? It's Ubuntu, the powerful Linux system that runs on millions of computers, now designed for your phone. Think of it like Android, but without Google tracking your every move. It's free, secure and brings new life to old devices. So I just installed on my OnePlus 6T and it's awesome. You don't need to be a tech expert to try it. So when you first start using Ubuntu Touch, the first thing you'll notice is how smooth and natural it feels. There are no navigation buttons. Everything is gesture based. You just swipe from the left edge to open the app launcher, swipe from the right edge to switch between apps and swipe down from the top to check your notifications. At first, it might feel a bit different, especially if you're coming from Android or iPhone. It takes a little time to retrain your fingers, but once you get used to it, everything feels super smooth. Almost everything you need works perfectly on Ubuntu Touch. Things like manual brightness, torchlight and vibration all work smoothly without any issues. The camera does a great job for photos, videos and even switching between front and back. Extras like wireless displays, USB file transfer and hardware video playback work seamlessly. Of course, nothing's perfect, so let's be real about what doesn't work. Fingerprint recognition isn't supported yet, so you'll use a pin or pattern to unlock your phone. VoLT, which some carriers use for calls, isn't there either, so you might want to check if that matters for you, else everything is working fine. Now let's talk about apps. Ubuntu Touch has its ups and downs. It uses its own store called OpenStore, packed with open source apps like browsers, chat apps, email clients, dev tools and games. For basics like browsing, messaging and email, it works great. But if you need Android apps like Instagram, Snapchat, banking apps or heavy games, you might feel limited. There's Anbox to run Android apps, but it's still experimental and not stable for daily use. Updates come straight from the UB Ports team, no carrier approval needed. The only catch? Updates can be a bit slow since the team's small. But honestly, waiting a little is worth it to keep your data safe. It even comes with its own browser called Morph Browser. It's lightweight, privacy focused and perfect for everyday browsing. And hey, if you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Alright, let's get to the fun part, installing Ubuntu Touch. Ubuntu Touch supports a lot of devices like the Pixel series, Poco phones, Redmi models and older OnePlus phones. First, make sure your device is supported. I'll leave a link in the description where you can check the full list. So here's my OnePlus 6T as you can see here. The first thing we need to do is enable developer options. And let me quickly enable developer option by tap on build number 7 times. Now the only thing you need before we start is to unlock the bootloader. Make sure it's unlocked, otherwise the installation won't work. I've already made videos on how to unlock the bootloader for most devices. So if you need help, check the links in the description. Once the bootloader is unlocked, also enable the USB debugging option. After that, connect your device to your PC and move to the PC screen. Now on your PC, you'll need to download the UB Ports installer. It's available on Windows, macOS and Linux, ensuring full compatibility no matter which operating system you use. I'll leave the official download link in the description to make it easy for you. Once everything is connected properly, the UB Ports tool should pick up your device automatically. And there it is, my phone has been detected. 
You can also manually select your device from the list inside the installer. Just look for your device name and tap on it. Once your device is selected, click on My device is unlocked. I'll quickly check to make sure the device is actually unlocked. Next, the installer will ask you to choose the Ubuntu Touch version. I recommend sticking with the default stable version. Also, make sure to select the option to wipe user data. This will format everything on your device. So, make sure you have a backup if you need anything before you continue. After you hit start, the installer will first reboot your device into bootloader mode. At this point, you'll need to manually boot into recovery mode. Don't worry, it's super easy. Just use the volume buttons to scroll to recovery mode and then press the power button to select it. Once you're in recovery mode, the installer will automatically detect it and start setting things up. Now, just wait for a few minutes while Ubuntu Touch gets installed on your device. It might take a little time, so just relax and let it do its thing. And yes, as you can see, my device is rebooting automatically. The first boot might take a few minutes. So if it's stuck on the Ubuntu logo for a while, don't worry, that's completely normal. Let me fast forward a little and wait for the Ubuntu setup screen. And there it is. The device has successfully booted into Ubuntu Touch. Now just follow the on-screen instructions like selecting your language, region and Wi-Fi network. Let me quickly set it up and we'll jump right in. And yes, our device has successfully booted into Ubuntu Touch. Now just connect to Wi-Fi or mobile data and you're ready to enjoy the full power of Linux on your phone. And there you go, you just turned your Android phone into a Linux powerhouse with Ubuntu Touch. It's great for privacy lovers, tech fans or anyone who wants to try something different. It's not perfect, but it's a lot of fun to use. What do you think? Will you try it? Drop a comment and tell me your phone model. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel and keeps me making more awesome content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.